This video will show how to plot XY data in TechPlot for Barracuda. Specifically, we will be looking at plotting data from the plain text data output provided by the solver. To begin, we will use the Barracuda data loader to load in one of these data files. For more information, please consult our video on loading Barracuda data. In this example, we will be using one of the log files specifically the history.log file. By default, TechPlot will initialize a graph uh, plotting the second column against the first column. In this case, the first column is time, and the second column is the time step. Let me first make note of a few tools that will be helpful throughout the pro course of this video. For one, if we click within the graph, sorry, if we right click within the graph and drag our mouse, we can adjust the position of the data being graphed. Also, if you hit the control and F keys simultaneously, TechPlot will automatically adjust the minimum and maximum values on the graph to nicely fit the data. Finally, we can use the adjust tool located next to the selection tool to make small changes to our graph such as moving the axis labels around or even moving an entire axis. Most options for Choosing which data to be graphed and how the graph is presented can be found in the Mapping Style dialog. You can navigate to this dialog by clicking the Mapping Style button in the Plot sidebar or simply by double clicking in your graph. Here we can control things such as the thickness and color of lines, symbols at each point, error bars, and more. Likewise, we can, choo we can choose exactly what is being graphed. For example, let's say that we want to show the CFL instead of the time step. We will deselect the time step column, and or we'll deselect the time step row show map column, and instead, in the same column, we'll toggle the row CFL. Now, as we can see, we are going to need to hit control F once more so TechBlock can nicely adjust the minimum and max values such that the CFL is plotted cleanly. Furthermore, we can plot two graphs that use different units easily by using the Y2 axis feature in the mapping style. So if we return to mapping style and we turn back on the time step but in which y-axis column we right click the cell and click y2 you'll notice that a second graph has been overlaid on the first with different units next let's look at the legend for a 2d graph we go to the plot menu and click line legend then to show the line legend we toggle the checkbox in the top left in this menu we can control other facets of the legend's appearance now to change the labels on this graph for the legend, we need to return to the mapping style dialog and change the name in the map name section. If we double click the cell for time step, it will give us the option to input custom text. And DV and, using the ampersand symbols, will default it to the name found in the header file of the plain text data output. But we can replace this with whatever we choose. For example, we can write time step and the change will be reflected in our legend. To change the 
axis labels, let's double click this le these axis labels to bring up the axis details dialog, where, similar to other dialogs, we can control the appearance of our axes. In this case, we'll go to the title tab and click use text instead of use variable name at the bottom of the window. Then we can enter in a custom label. This concludes our video on plotting XY data from text-based Barracuda output files.